All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level two now of lesson 11, which is on CSS classes. Uh, it says using classes. This waterfall page uses classes to make the images at the top of the page a different style from the images in the main part of the page. Do this. Find the CSS rule set in the style.css file that makes the images at the top smaller than the ones on the main part of the page. Add a new rule to one of the classes and check to see that it only affects the images in that class. So we have these images up here, which are smaller than these down here. And let's go figure out why. So we're going to go into the style.css file. All right, here is our top images. And we can see that when I click on this, it actually highlights these main images. If I click on this, we can see that it highlights these. All right, so we're going to add a new rule to one of the classes and check to see that it only affects the images in that class. Um, I'm going to add a oh, border. Did that work? Nope. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Border. Ooh, border color. Mm. Let's do black. Let's do border, I do size, border, <laughs> no, I already did border color, so let's see here, border, there we go, border width, uh, 10 pixels, all right, let's see if I did that right. Hmm. If I had, we would have seen a border around these, but I'm not seeing that. <laughs> I wonder what happened if I tried it down here. Maybe that's the key. Uh, let's try border. What are options? Okay, it doesn't give us any. Um, border color, black, border width. Uh, ooh, there we go. Thick. Hmm, I feel like it did something. Okay. Well, all right, we will, uh, stick with the basics then. Um... Let's change the height to 500. All right, well, that worked. <laughs> All right, so we can see that now these pictures are bigger than these ones down here. And if I change it to five, they're itty bitty tiny ones. All right, so, yep, there we go. I goofed off a little bit, and then we got down to business. Um, I'm going to change that back to 50. And we can do the same thing here. If I change it to 20, there we go. Now they're tiny. And if I change it to 2000, now they're massive. So yeah, it shows us that if we divide everything into sections, we can affect certain parts without affecting the whole, which is a really cool and useful thing we will be using as we go forward. So there we go. We're on level two. When we're done, we're going to click on the orange finish button, and I will see you on level three. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, add a new. Oh, that's what I tried to do. Ugh. Add a new rule. All right. Um, let's think of a new rule. What can we add, guys? Um. What if we say justify content center? Well, that didn't work. All right. Um, ooh, align content center. Nope. All right. Um, I feel like border should work. What the heck, man? 
uh, dotted, um, solid. Oh, there we go. All right. All right now. So border color, uh, oops, border color. Let's do hot pink. And then, okay. So, okay. Clearly we can see, ah, uh, I tell you, I tell you sometimes. All right. So clearly we can see that there is now a hot pink border around the smaller images but not around the larger ones. So there we go. Now can I finish? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. See you on the next level. Here we go.